I hate flying around this swamp island. We've got those massive bugs. I still haven't managed to tame one of those, but they absolutely terrify me. Anyway, this is our first cave, and it was a bit out of the way. I got lucky spotting it. What am I taking damage from? Oh, wait a second, wait a second. There we go. I crafted some, just in case. Someone warned me that I would need some. Oh, no, 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 good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. The bats are an issue. The bats are an issue. The bats are an issue. Oh, God. I've been dropped very far. I need to get to my dino. I need to get to my dino. What level is that thing? Oh! I'm gonna die in here. Oh, I'm dead, 100%. What? This is one cave out of many that I have to get through in order to finally finish the tribute off. I've got artifacts and I've got the ocean-based tribute and then I've got everything collected. All the land stuff we've just been collecting slowly throughout the playthrough. But this is pretty much it once we get these caves sorted. And I am horrified by how quickly we got absolutely wrecked just then. I see numbers. Don't like that. Right, so we can actually fly in on this. Wait, what? We should be able to fly in on this fella. Yeah, we can. Okay, I'm curious how the shotgun does here then. Does well if I can hit. I'm struggling to somewhat. Let's see. I love that stalagmites just sort of sat there taking it. Whoa, I get blood packs for what? If the Desmodus attack stuff, does it make blood packs in its inventory? If it does, that's so cool. I need to I need to get Stalic my out of there, to be honest. Uh Let's see. Can we pick him up? Yep. And then can we fly up here. And then we'll get him out. Ah, I'm stuck to the wall. Don't want to be ah, I'm stuck to the ceiling! That's even worse. Okay. Can we just fight these guys? My bat isn't very good at a fight. I'll give it. It's, my bat's a bit shit. Right. Okay. I think. I think we're good. So, how many blood packs do we have? Two hundred blood packs. Whoa. Okay. That's really fucking cool. That look my. Level four hundred insect casually. Insects got more health than uh, some carnivores I've seen. See, see fucking raptors with less health than this dragonfly has, but okay. Can't use tools on the back of the Serato. That would make it a bit powerful, I think, but I would love it if you could. Right. So I'm going to keep these blood packs because I can eat them for a bit of health if I need to. Now, where is my body and all of my shit? More importantly, where's my otter? Let's see. If that was it for the Desmodus, I think we're absolutely fine. There's otter. Where's my corpse? I don't see the, the green thing of light. Which I suppose suggests I've been eaten. Come on. Fly our way through this swamp cave. We'll rescue our otter, but I'm really worried about where all my stuff is. I had some really good fur armor I got there. <laughs> I'm gonna be really sad if that's just gone. 
Yeah, Stalagmite's just kind of crushing it through this, uh, this cave, isn't it? I just realized he had full health, and that's because I had admin mode on, and I'm, I apologize about that. That wasn't intentional. But we could have just waited and healed him up with, with some meat. So it's fine, it, but it was unintentional. Right, where the hell is my body? I really don't understand where my corpse is. Oh, hello. Big snake. I don't understand where my corpse is gone. Can't look around on this thing because he actually bites in the direction I'm looking, which is really cool. But where the frick is my body? All right. I think we're just going to have to write off everything that was on me, which is really upsetting because it was a lot of good armor that didn't come from blueprints. So it was just like found armor and a crossbow. But the crossbow was a blueprint, so we can get another one of those. All right, we're going to keep pushing onwards. Because what we're after is the artifact, nothing else. I don't really want to fight. I'm curious what stuff aggroes to us. So, everything, basically? It would seem that just everything aggroes to us, yeah. Big head bump. I love his little head bump. Okay, I'm just... I need to get through this cave. Before I get worn down. The healing is good, but it's not really enough. He's just a really tanky boy, thankfully. I think he's just in a prim saddle, too. Okay, I'm just gonna move, to be honest. Oh, no, I can't. The spider's kind of... There we go. Like, I can't even just run through, because the spiders web you, which I suppose is kind of the point of the design. You know, if you could just sprint through the caves with max movement speed, oh, that'd be a bit too easy. But no movement speed soon. Arc Survival Ascended, no leveling movement speed. It's going to be interesting, that. Okay, what do we got in here? We've got a really cool fucking area. We've got another rune, and we got more spiders, of course, because... I can't just enjoy the pretty area. I have to deal with the nightmare fuel that is the eight-legged bastards. I'm going to find your mother and I'm going to kill her later on, spiders. And there goes monetization. Okay, that's a... See, I love gates like this, but then if they don't lead anywhere, I feel like I've been sort of tricked by the game. It was one of my issues with Conan was that it had so many structures with doors and then the doors just didn't fucking go anywhere. And I hated it. And this place is full of bats. Which type of bat? Is it just Onyx? If it's just the Onyx, Onyx, I'd be fine. Is there any Desmodus in here, Onyx? I'm thinking we just get our bat out and fly straight there, to be honest. Can we just go like this? And then we're just here. Is there anything aggro to us? It doesn't look like anything's even aggro to us. Here we go, artifact. Artifact. Oh no, I didn't put it in the otter. Artifact into the otter. Artifact. And then we've got two artifacts of the brute, and we should just be able to fly out the way we came. We've lost a lot of stuff doing this because we've lost our body and everything that was on it, but I think considering this tame is native to this map, we haven't added the Desmodus and it's supposed to be able to fly in caves. I think I might actually use it a little bit in the next cave. So I'm going to take it. Oh, Desmodus. So I'm going to take it home and put a few levels on it. And yeah, I want to see if we can how quickly and easily we can get through caves with this fella like does he just trivialize caves? My wyvern! Oh no, that means I've lost my wyvern! Because I had my wyvern in my pocket. Oh, I don't understand where my body's gone. Oh, there's bats following me. I don't understand where my body's gone. Um, 
Have they given up? I think they've given up. Okay, we can sit, fly over to Rasputin's Island, have a rest, then fly back. And then I'm going to breed up a few more of these bats and see if we can find a really good one to level up. Well, even though we lost all our stuff, it's a good thing we kept our otter because this cave is cold and tiny and full of yetis yeah i don't want to fight my way through this like i love arc caves and stuff and fighting in arc caves is fun and everything but it's nice to just be able to fly around them and have a look at the scenery without having to fight my way through it that's actually really nice we can collect these runes while we're here like look at this if we were on foot we'd have to go where would we have to go let's follow the route we'd have to take so you come through here You'd fight across this bridge. Oh, Pelovia, still scare me. If we get knocked out of the saddle in this cave, we die. Just no question about it. This is ice cave. This is island hard ice cave. Not quite. Uh, level 280 Polova. It's close. I'm not sure it's quite there, but it's close. And if we go too far down, if we go too low, we'll get taken out by a Pelovia. But, I mean, this is just stunning. I love this wall with the monkeys. It looks like almost like it was inhabited long ago. So can we go through here? Yep. Through this little cave. And then we've got sort of a jumping puzzle area. I'm guessing that these are instant death holes. Yes. And across here, more Pelovia, more polar bear. I don't know why they're all injured. I wonder if someone's come through here recently. Oh, there's the... There's the artifact. Okay. We're going to have to try and figure out a way of doing this. I wonder... If... Wait, no, 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 no. I'm being silly. We can shoot off the bat. So we can just get onto, like, here... We can, like, latch ourselves onto here, okay? And then we can just... Shoot. And get everything aggroed to us. And then we'll all just charge off the hole. <laughs> it all just charges into the abyss. <laughs> okay that's quite that's quite smooth i quite like this this bat is definitely the caving team no question about it i don't think there's anything that could beat this bat in terms of just ease of caving something i have noticed though is as the maps have gone onwards some of them have definitely got much more powerful so it's like the teams have just definitely got much more powerful uh, see now here's the problem okay can we get this artifact without getting wrecked yes because stalagmite triggers them and we just set stalagmite to fight them did he win he's getting like pushed into the wall here. Let's maybe help a little bit. Okay, I wonder if we can just land on the ground now without the Polovia getting us. Whether we can or not, I think it'd be safer to get Stalagmite over there and then to fight. I'd rather these guys just died, to be honest with you. Oh shit, if they knock him into that hole. Oh, he's good, he's good, he's good. <laughs> we got a bit spooked there, to be honest with you. Okay, I think we're good here. Let's pick up Stalagmite. Let's get our Otter out. And then we've got the Artifact of the Sky Lord number one. Artifact of the Sky Lord number two. And just a ton of meat. Yeah, I tried to put the Valyrian Reigns on the Desmodus, and they just don't work, which upset me immensely. But oh well. <sighs> okay, so that's 
yeah that's just wonderful the bat makes these caves so so smooth we just fly in fly out and we've got probably one of the hardest caves. i would imagine this is one of the hardest caves considering the level and the fact that it's an ice cave i imagine this is one of the hardest caves on fjorda and we've just smashed it out in five minutes because of the bat that's absolutely fantastic i'm really 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 glad i tamed this guy i'm really glad i put some mutagen into his parents too because that's definitely come worth it let's lap around and see if we can find more caves i guess oh is that lava in there i think it might be okay this is gonna be interesting made considerably easier by the there's modus of course i it feels wrong to use this but it's part of this map it's not even something that we've added in and that would then you know change the way that this map is supposed to be played this creature is part of this map but it just feels like it negates so much of the difficulty Although I suppose at this point, caves aren't difficult either. They're more tedious than anything. Once you've got really strong caving dinos, caves aren't exactly hard. They're just tedious. But there's our first artifact. Wow. Whoa, that was so fast to get with this. Right, we're going to have to get stalagmite out though because we've got a bunch of onyx following us and I don't like them. Death to bats, except Arba. Arba is wonderful and we love her. They given up the chase? I think two of them have given up the chase. Oh, there's a rune right there. <laughs> okay, let's get you away. Let's get artifact one. Put that in our otter. Then artifact two. Let's grab this rune and then let's do some flying. I can't get to the rune. The ribs are too big. The rib cage is too big. Okay. Let me get my bat out. Please let me get my bat out. There we go. <laughs> bat gets us the rune. Do we want the loot? I, I don't care at this point, to be honest. Oh, I almost fell in the lava. At this point, I just don't feel like the loot is really that valuable anymore. I know that there isn't going to be a saddle for the for the boss tape I'm using because they don't drop in loot drops and I'm not too interested in armor so is that it oh no it looks like there's more to this cave Ooh, that's a lot of bats let's go around the outside around the outside and see if we can't there we go Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to do a bit of uh, we're gonna have to actually get our hands dirty in this cave, I think Ah crap, they're like right on top of us Um, Trying to think of a good spot to put us down. Maybe maybe here actually Quick 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 there we go And now it's time for combat of course means a bat getting stuck at our bum so we can't fight it. Alright, there we go. I don't know what I would change about Ark Caves, but I would definitely change something. I still think that Ark needs more challenges that are you on foot. Like, I remember saying this about the, the tech cave right back when I first played the island. I think the tech cave should have been just you. You should not have been able to have a single tame out. And like, so the, the final boss should have been your tames. You should have like put them in a terminal or something. And then you got them given to you at the end of the tech cave. And it's like a multi-layered challenge where you have to prove yourself. You know, you have to prove your strength and then you have to prove the strength of your teams one after the other. I think that would be cool. But I do think Ark needs more of that. It needs more stuff that's supposed to be done on foot. Um, where skill matters rather than just point and click with a strong team. 
It's why I'm not that bothered about this whole, oh, there's going to be Souls-like combat in the next, in Arc 2. I, I kind of think that's what Arc needs. If you leave everything the same, but make better human combat, and then use that more, mm, perfect game, in my opinion. But I know I'm probably in the minority there. Let me have this artifact! I want it! It's mine, my precious. Right, the bat's gonna bother me, probably. Let's get an artifact in this otter. Right, and then... I reckon that's it. I doubt there's three. I would be very surprised if there were three in here. But we can have a quick look around just in case, because to be honest, I was surprised by two. We'll go around this wall. Nope. That looks like everything. So there's just two in this cave and we've managed them quite smoothly with the bat and the Serato. These two make a wonderful cave-in combo. But let's get home and two more artifacts down. This is going well. Do you know what this cave reminds me of? This cave entrance reminds me of Bleak Falls Barrow from Skyrim. It's honestly, yeah, it's 100% it's inspired by the, the dragon temples in Skyrim. No question about it. But let's have a look what's in it. Oh, big drop. Do I have to go into the water? What I have to do is turn my gamma up. Holy hell. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, no, there's like a like a path through here. All right. I wonder if... Are we supposed to go on foot here? This is very cool, this. Got the skeletons. Is this is this my dream? Is this the cave that I'm supposed to do on foot? I don't care about either of those. And nope, it opens out into a proper art cave, of course. <laughs> opens up into the traditional art cave with a bunch of bats down there. And oh, Megalosaurus. I love the sleepy boys. Onik. Okay, we're gonna kill. We're gonna just kill some stuff. Lots of sleeping Megalosaurus. All right, let's get our bat back out and let's see if we can get through this quietly. Doesn't seem to be any Desmodus on the ceiling. Do we go down again? I think we actually go down again. Oh okay, yeah, this is a really, really cool cave. There's the artifact. Without a Desmodus to let you fly inside the cave, this would be really difficult. You'd have to use a ton of grappling hooks and it'd be awkward. But with the Desmodus! <laughs> with the Desmodus! Oh, and then the water's quite scary, too. I can't, I'm struggling to land here, to be honest. There we go. You know what I've done? I've forgotten my flipping otter, so I'm going to have to come back here at some point. But let's fly up through this. Wait, no, I'm sure I saw another hole. Yeah, this here. Let's fly up through here. More bats. Oh! We can pull over here. Oh, my Desmodus. My Desmodus is beat to shit. Whoa. It's on a high level Polovia and bats and stuff. I do still want to see what's down here, though. I shouldn't have done that. I made I've made a terrible mistake doing this, I think. I think I just survived that. 
Okay, that was that was too close. That was way closer than it needed to be. Ooh. And is this a dead end? Did I do that just to get to a dead end? I think I did all that just to get to a dead end. Like the bright spark I am. Oh, my poor bat. That's no good at all. Gonna have to sit and give him some food, but I think... Honestly, I reckon we could probably just fly straight out of here now out of the, the correct exit without feeding him up. He's covered in blood. Yeah, let's just escape. I think it's quite clear that this leads nowhere other than to a Peloviac death. Peloviac death, what a word. I invented it. You're welcome. <laughs> Are we free? I think we're home free here. Yes. Oh my poor Desmodus. That is not the correct way to go. Where is the correct way to go? I'm stuck. What? How the hell do I get out? I'm so confused. I could have sworn I came in through from there. Did I not? I did. I did come in through there. What the heck? How do you get out of this place then? Does it seal shut behind you? Surely not. Ark's not that clever. But I, I am certain I came in through here. I, I, it was just a minute ago. There's the bag from Stalagmite. What? Okay. Let's let's just go then, I guess. If we need to go out the other way, I mean that makes sense as to why there's another route then, I guess. Because that's the way out. Oh, don't put me in the water. Okay, so here. Let's just fly. Let's just hope that the Pelobia haven't respawned yet. Okay, but then what? I'm genuinely lost. I don't know how to get the heck out of this place. I actually am so confused. And I know I've got Pelovia and bats chasing me now. <laughs> I don't like this. Pelovia tried to jump. Missed. That makes me happy. It's so foggy down here, too. Mm, level 280 Pelovia. Right. So we can come this way. I think I'm just being really silly here. doesn't lead anywhere I can't see any way out here this does not lead anywhere and the light keeps sort of changing weirdly okay so this passage is not the way out look Pelovia you, you just kind of have to die because of what you are right then there's no side passages coming off this sort of funnel here. Okay. Let's get the Desmodus out then. Let's 
There's no way out up. Okay. And this is where we came from. And there was a flight down. We flew down into this area, so I would have expected it to be some sort of hole in the goddamn ceiling, but I can't seem to find it. I am unbelievably confused right now. Okay, I think I figured it out. I think I need to break that rock. I don't know why I didn't do it on the way in. But I think that rock's breakable. Let me just kill these spiders. And then we'll see. Thing is, I've got no tools on me. Am I gonna have to kill stuff until something gives me a stone pick? Oh, there we go. Stone pick, right. Let me test my theory. Whoa. Why did I not have to break this to get in then? That is so wild. I should have had to break this to get in, shouldn't I? But I just wandered in. And there's the way out. That is so weird. Either someone just came in recently or oh, hello, Rune. Oh, it's a crocodile. <laughs> I didn't realize it's a crocodile. Can it get through? I don't think it can get through the door. Oh, that's so cool. My bat just hanging. Oh, I didn't realize they did that. Can they be turned on breeding while they're doing that? Oh, they can. That's so fucking cool for space and stuff. I love that. That's a really cool feature. Can I, can I get through, please? Thank you all. Okay. I think there's one more cave that doesn't require um, water-based tames for the artifacts we need. I'm going to go drop off this artifact back at base. I'm going to come back here again to pick up another one because I want two of each. I'm going to grab my otter and then we're going to go to what I think is the last land-based cave of the tribute artifacts that we need for the bosses. Right, so out of all the caves, this is, I think, the only one I just genuinely didn't find i had to look this one up i could not find this for the life of me this is i mean look let's go out and have a quick look just before we go in so you got this lovely bit of redwood coast you got these waterfalls you got this fallen branch in this tree and it's all just positioned so you cannot see the entrance of this cave i mean if you're just flying around looking for it like i, I do like to look for the caves but it doesn't look like much you can see it now because we know where to look and we're specifically flying around it. But everything's angled in a way to make it very hard to see. And yet yeah, this this one beat me. Uh, hands up, this one just full on beat me. But let's see if we can not land in the middle of all the monsters for a second. Thank you, Desmodus. Big rib cage. I love that. I do think Ark has a bit of a proclivity to show us massive rib cages of creatures that are bigger than anything we get to fight, which kind of upsets me. Like, if you're going to give me the big rib cage, give me the big monster to fight. There's a lot of bears in here. Oh, like beyond tameable level of bears as well. Level 208. That's a strong creature that bears are bears hit hard. Bears are strong. Level 280 bear is not something you want to mess with. Whoa, I have no frames in this cave. Why do I have no frames in this cave? What was that? Something hurt. Something saw me. Oh, there's a filer in here. Oh, this place is lovely, though. I've been massively impressed with all the caves on Fjorda no artifact but there's a ton of bugs i think that's what was lagging me out a second ago i think i turned a corner saw like eight million bugs and my computer just went no where's the artifact though oh 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 wow 
I think we found the artifact chamber. I'm gonna... I haven't really been grabbing the loot boxes. I'm just gonna have a quick look, see what we got. Uh, Mega Ethereum saddle and a blueprint for an electrical outlet. <laughs> All those saddles and stuff I'll grind down because I've still got a few saddles left to make for our boss army. So stuff like that is actually quite useful because I can grind it down. Oh, look at that. We got the monkey, the dragon, and the spider all sort of positioned above the artifact with this tree this would be such a nice base spot artifact of the strong let me get my otter off and there is two artifacts of the strong i think all the other artifacts we need now are all somewhat aquatic based we need a water tame so that's going to have to be something we do next time, though. I haven't really dipped my toe into the oceans of Fjorda yet. Let's see. Can we get out? Uh, what is the way out, then? Some piranha here. What are these little, little cuboid structures? I think I've seen a couple of these in caves over the last couple of days, and I'm not 100% sure what they are. Is there a, a way out here? No, not really. A bit too narrow to try and get out there. And we got webbed. Wonderful. Big Sarko. <laughs> Big piranhas too, but with Kraken's better dinos, the piranhas aren't really a threat. With KBD, the piranhas only attack you. I think if you've got under 50% health, if you're above half health, the piranhas just kind of leave you to your own stuff, which makes them much, much, much less of a threat. Okay, we'll go back the way we came. We'll see that thyla. Oh, the paleo thylas are so pretty. Look at the glowing orange kitten. I love it. And I, I'm kind of curious to see just how many bugs were around this corner. Whoa. But I don't even think this was the laggy bit. I think, yeah, it's this. It's that cave there that's laggy. It's, if I look down here, I lose like, I drop from 80 to... 15 20 frames because it's just a wall of dragonflies and then honey oh it's a honey cave okay that makes oh god they're all following me that's a lot of dragonflies i need to leave <laughs> i'm gonna die just because it'll lag if i stay in here all right we're gonna get out we're gonna get out what <laughs> the heck What a wild cave. It's like a combination of the swamp cave with all the bugs and then the bear cave from... Oh, what map was it that had the bear cave on? Was that... Balgaro? I can't quite remember. Well, that is it for the land-based caves that we need a tribute from on Fjorda. It is now time to head down into the oceans and see if we can't get the last few artifacts from the watery depths of this map and then it will be time for the bosses thank you very much for watching and goodbye